morning everyone, we're out in the van now uh, and today's, we've got a bit of a, I don't know, we're doing lots, we're doing lots of little jobs to try and get stuff sorted, tiling to do, drawers to make, things to sort and finish. Yeah, we'll just see how we get on. So I'm going to finish off doing the tiling behind the bit of the hob here. Obviously I've done the tiles around the kitchen over there and but I just needed to do this little extension -y bit here because well we didn't originally cut it too short we just didn't really maybe thoroughly think about it so it just sort of routed this side and this side and then glued them together so I'm just going to stick the tiles over the top people film like from their eye view I always wonder how people do it so if anyone knows please leave a comment below because for me <laughs> I can't even I can't even show you but I'll insert a picture here but yeah I literally hold it in my mouth and now I've cut my gum also could always just be using a tripod but then would the camera on the tripod not be right in your face so that's me finished the tiles here Ed was busy measuring and cutting, well, measuring some wood. Um, so now we'll go out and join and... And we'll go and help him cut some wood. So I've now cut pretty much all of the other bits of wood needed for the kitchen drawers. So we've got the back spaces. We did the sides the other day. Um, I just need to cut the front bits out. So it's been busy sorting out the um, wood that's going to go where am I like here and here either side of the batteries and the water tank but it's really hot so we're going to have a nice iced coffee and crisp break well I'm having juice First delivery of the day I don't even know what it is Do you know what they are? No Water tank Oh! How oh, nice! The water tanks are really expensive and trying to find ones that fit is difficult. Yeah, we would, so bear in mind we've got 150 litre fresh water. The one, only one that would fit would be 32 litre, which is waste, exceptionally so this is, this smaller. Is, yeah, so we want to put our wastewater underneath the van, basically. Yeah, yeah. So we don't care if that freezes and whatever, it's easier. It doesn't, yeah. So. Jess's idea, yeah, my idea, mine, mine, was to have two smaller tanks and mount them, like, mount them underneath and connect them up, which works really well for us as well because we can have two different like fill points, one for the shower and one for the sink. But again, 32 litre tank, a bit small. Uh, well, how big are these? 25. Yeah, so the 32 litre tank was quite expensive. These were yeah, like yeah. It was going to be basically with delivery about sixty pounds for a thirty-two litre tank for one of them. So it would would have been to buy two thirty-two litre ones. It was going to be like I know a hundred quid, something like that. It's just stupid, stupid, for, stupid for money. We didn't spend much more on that, on that massive tank. Yeah. So we've got two twenty-five litre jerry can things yeah 20 pounds 20 quid they've got a nice ceiling they're all right they're actually they sort of hard wearing as well just waving at one of our neighbors and basically i'll I've got some metal right, strapped i'm going to mount that up draw some holes in it it's a bit flexible it's waste water who cares yeah 
Yeah, nice one. Shall we go under? Yes, let's get distracted. Let's get distracted, like we always do. <laughs> so the plan is to put one here and then one here. They fit pretty well there. It's like I measured them. Yeah. So we originally weren't sure if we were going to actually have wastewater to go away with because we weren't sure what we were doing and tanks were going to take six weeks to be delivered. So that's why we started looking. Well, why I started looking at jerry cans and then I was like, oh, well, what difference are they meaning? So. <laughs> There's like the frame to put four drawers on. That'll be our like all our clothes storage. It's weird we're not going to put any overhead cupboards. No. We might might decide later we need them, but yeah. So we've got four drawers here, pantry here, four drawers in the kitchen, and two cupboards. Like that, and then, another. And then that overhead over there. No, so that, and, and another one there. Oh yes, and down here. No, no. no. Oh. And this one, <laughs> and then down under here for shoes, up here for some other stuff. Under that, behind, underneath that chair, this chair, this chair. Oh yeah. Which would be for like dirty clothes. Um, yeah. yeah, underneath here, we where we're gonna put our little washing basket and stuff. Just need to put a hinge on there. Yeah, we just save. Yeah, the tools. So I just cut a couple of little bits of wood to fit down here, fitting snugly in this little channel thing. Um, so I can screw them in. I'll screw them into the floor to keep it coming, going from left to right. I'm going to put a ratchet strap around it as well, around the center, so it doesn't go anywhere else. And then we can put the sides in. And then we can put this that, that's in. the whole point. Yeah, we need to do this first before we put the sides in. Well, we don't, but it would be a lot easier to do this first. Yeah. So it's a little awkward to um, reach with a with a pencil in here, a bit deep. So here is our extra long pencil. That actually worked perfectly. <laughs> Lunch. Luncheon. I'm gonna cut off this excess so it's a little bit. Yeah. It's like someone from the maypole. <laughs> <Isn't it? laughs> so Jess is now inside making lunch and I'm gonna try and assemble the first of the kitchen drawers. finished with the drawer so it's time for some food. Post lunch now and the sides of the drawers all dry so we're right. going well, dry enough. Dry enough. So we're going to put the front on. While the front of that drawer is drying, we're going to fit these little things that we cut earlier. Um, we cut. I uh, cut. Okay, you cut, I pocket hold. I think that was a very giant task, probably took a similar amount of time. However, Ed marked. Uh, um, yeah, so we've got pocket holes on the right side for one, but on the opposite side we'll for the, the other. 
not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. So, but Tango have to come back out to fully fit that in. Never mind. Just Another more, thing. just more, more jobs to do. Yeah. So on the sheet apply, I'm not sure if you can see it well. Mm, you can't really see, it's just bored a little bit. So you can see here, because this is a nice straight edge, how we've got, how much it's bowed. And it's just really annoying trying to measure things with that. <laughs> In the Toy Story show, I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, the present. The present? <laughs> Wait, there's a nice little one over there. So we just need to add a back support here, because otherwise these just, well, you can't even see, flop, about. flop around and it's not really the support you want when you've got drawers with clothes in. Uh, yeah, just check it up here. Fine. Two parcels. What's that one? This is a problem when you order so much you don't even know what what you've got. What? Were you opening that one? Oh, it says comfy sheet under it. Oh, I didn't Double see fitted sheet blind. I've got a bit more like, so we can finish off doing all of this. The royal wheat. The royal wheat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Reality of building a van as well is when you've got like many ha orders how a many day. how many is the most we've had? Six. Yeah. Six different deliveries. Six in a different day. deliveries and obviously some deliveries had multiple packages. Yeah. Realities of building a van. <laughs> day in the life thing just because it's a little bit different to our usual videos and just to sort of show that everything takes along I feel like we've done quite a lot today already um, but in comparison to a normal video it's not a half as much because in a normal video we would usually do it across three or four weekends and multiple evenings and then things like we haven't got the drill bit that we want to use in the van I said it was unnecessary to buy that big box of screws from Screwfix and I apologise, it was a great idea because <laughs> now we had every different size of screw that we need in the van and we don't have to go to Screwfix to get new ones. So yeah, never mind. <laughs> this five screws for holding a little back support in it is excessive but it's symmetrical so it's fine. Yeah, pretty strange to hold. Hold your flat bum bum. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, nice one. And these have still got a little bit of flex, so. That's good. The um, drawer <laughs> runners can sort of pull them in. Yeah. The drawers. Oh, yeah, that's good. And if I need to, I can add a, like a bar across the middle. I probably want to add a strip of wood across here that's the right width. Oh, do I do that now? Oh, my God. What was I just saying about jobs taking a while because it's not exactly how you planned out? So the pegs are covering the fridge on. Cold drinks. Yeah. So the front of this is dry. Obviously it's not like this one yet with these strips on. So Ed's going to do that later but we're going to actually fit it first. Make sure it fits. Yeah, make sure it fits. So these are the hinges. No, they're not. They're not hinges. Why do I keep, I keep calling these, them hinges? These, these are the drill runners. We've just we bought them from Eurofit Direct Online. They seem the cheapest. So these are soft close, hundred percent extension, and for and can handle 45, 45 kilograms each. Brown really? Four pair, yeah. Gosh. We can put forty-five kilograms in. 
one each drawer. God, what do you think we're going to be putting in these drawers? But it's not, because you know, <laughs> how we mount it is not that strong. Yeah, it's true. Fine. It will be fine, I hope, if these fit. That fits. Just checking everything fits first. That is not A bit big, spacing. I'm going to cut a couple of spacey bits of wood. Got a problem we're going to encounter. What? Yes, it's going to stab <laughs> you right where it hurts. So we're taking the front of the drawer off again. Um, well, not again, but... Hit, hit a bit of a problem. Yeah, we hit a problem that we've just sat and sort of... You didn't understand. I didn't understand. We had a little little mini argument about the whole thing because this basically doesn't fit in here. I mean, it does, but it, it would then not fit further up and there wouldn't be a line, I believe. Yeah. So the front has to come off and be slightly readjusted to the other side. So it's because we're going up against the side there. Please come off. Lovely. That's not, that doesn't look that bad. Just sand it maybe. Yeah, it's not great though, is it? Now to clean this all up and do it all again. So the problem was the space in between here and here was too much and because we're it's having to run against this side it needed to be like that distance away so it didn't just whack into here every time you went to shut it. So I had to take it all apart, move it down a little bit and then put it all back together. But, yeah. but because it, this, this has everything in the, the van you just can't get square it does sort of taper in so it's a little bit so I've made these drawers so they fit at the top perfectly but they need a bit of a space at the bottom so I need to fit that to that side but hopefully I can get this side sorted sorted be fine we'll get it sorted yeah It's about perfect fit there, a little bit of gap, and it just backs into it there. Man, this is just so annoying! <laughs> Still can't get used to having a fridge that I can get, well, I've just put a, a warm can in the fridge. Huh? Is this fridge? Well, I don't know. Probably not. I'm not putting it in. Yeah, it still hits a bit. Not as much though, I don't think. No, not as much. It doesn't look like as much. Let's see where you sort of force in the middle. <laughs> this is the one thing that I hate, is you get something right, so this is our lovely level, but because we need to chop this little side off, oh sorry, the whole thing has to come out and do it again. It's just, it's really yeah. frustrating. Hello. You take that side off. I will try that one again. Screw please. Well, these were mine. Well, I don't give a crap. They're mine now, they're in my hole. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I know what I said. There you go. 
Okay, my thing's up not all the way out. Don't make it up. Are you going in the right hole? The one with the line at the top. Yes? I don't believe that. <laughs> I can see the line at the top. I can't, however, see the hole where the other one was in it. You blind? No, no, I've just done it wrong. Oh. Just, just, the hole was already there. Okay. Goes in. When it goes in. Comes out. Goes in. Oh, thank God for that. Gets a bit, a little stuck there. It is. That's because it's because we put that spacer in. It obviously, the back near the van, near the wall, obviously tapers. So vertically, it tapers out. And at the bottom, where it tapers, it's at its widest. Inside, it tapers in. That doesn't make any sense to me, but okay. It's all not square, so the rail yeah. works nice out here, but there you're pushing them too far apart. Push, so I mean, that doesn't matter. But shots. Yeah. No shots, and I've got a bit of room. So this will have. I'll put a bit of trim on here, and once we finish off this with the thing. I may need to slide it back a little bit, but mm. no, five mil. Should be fine. Well, that took a long time. So yeah, how long did that take? What time is it now? It's 25 to six. We fit them. When did we actually know. start doing this? I don't know, after lunch. After lunch. We, we came fitted, out after lunch at quarter past, half past two. We fitted those bits mm. there, and then we've mounted a drawer. Mounted a front to a drawer twice, <laughs> yeah, exactly, to that part. I feel but, like this always happens after lunch though, like, we feel like we do a lot before lunch, after lunch, and then it's like... Slows right down. And, you know... Yeah. Tastes like yeah, we'll see. I don't know what to do now. So, I think we're going to finish the day in the life video here. Um, we just wanted to sort of show that it doesn't always go the way that you want. And even when we edit it, like we, I was saying earlier, like we edit obviously three to four weekends and weeknights into one video. So a lot of the redoing of yeah. things and stuff is cut out. Yeah. And I mean, even this time we didn't film, we haven't filmed absolutely everything. No, I mean, we've charged the camera twice today. Yeah, we used <laughs> it a lot. Which is a lot of the normal. But it's, it's the reality of yeah. doing a van build. Nothing goes to plan. Everything takes three times as long as we wanted. Like today, I plan to get the sink mounted, finish mm -hmm. plumbing it. That hasn't even been a thought. It hasn't even been a thought. I haven't had time to do that. No. We've mounted one drawer. This session. Would it be nice to mount maybe a couple more? Yeah, so we, we mounted those bits of wood over there in one drawer in, in four hours. Yeah, in four hours. And before no, that, we, we, I did, we did the tiling and cut wood as well. We we, 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 we cut some wood. <laughs> You did some tiles. So the tiling, which literally tiling. took maybe half an hour, forty minutes. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm. I cut all the wood for four drawers. Which yeah, is yeah, a lot of wood. yeah. And I pocket hold them all. Yeah, you, you pocket hold them all, draw them all. So they be ready. Um, I put one drawer together. And then do it back apart. I made that. Cut the wood out yeah. for that back bit there. We mounted them. Mounted the drawer. And we've got six days until we need to leave, or we want to leave for Wales. Is that going to happen? Yeah. I don't know. <sighs> Lots of late nights, I think. Well, more late nights, like it more has been nights. for the last three weeks. Yeah, yeah. And you, yeah, you've been at uni and then, and work, you've worked two five, weeks of nights. Two, two, yeah, two weeks of night shifts, so. So, well, well, that's worked out well for me because then Ed's been out in the van till half nine, ten o'clock. <laughs> Mainly because I haven't really realised the time and yeah. it's just been like, oh. It's just when he fit that drawer for the kitchen. Nine. Yeah, it's when I fitted that. That yeah. took that one whole evening. But yeah, so I just want to say really that, you know, it sometimes looks like we do more and you see three to four weeks worth of stuff in, what, 10 to 20 minutes? Yeah. It's and, not and, very long. And never believe those Instagram 
posting or yeah. the or the YouTube videos where it's time lapse build and it looks like you can get that done in yeah you know a couple of weekends it's just not gonna happen yeah people that say they do it in like 30 days hmm. or if they do maybe they're working maybe, more than 12 hours every single day yeah with everything on order beforehand yeah because some things take like six weeks to arrive yeah yeah exactly like the fridge and the windows for like six weeks yeah they took ages it was yeah. quite a while actually before we could start the to put constant in. ordering things mm -hmm. and doing half a job and being like i need this new fitting order it from amazon ebay yeah. whatever at least amazon's got like spend, stage delivery but spend hours i spend hours of most days looking for parts yeah plumbing parts. and what's the right thing what's the right thing what's the best thing for us nobody there's so many mm. posts and things nobody's made it made a perfect thing no. for every use so and a lot of the stuff online's crap <laughs> and people will say oh it's fine use this and it's not what you want to use yeah. so yeah we've got one more video until we go to wheels which will be the last sort of i say finishing touches the the the, the, <laughs> the last <laughs> necessary build the less necessary stuff things. when we come back from wales we will be doing other stuff in the van obviously because the shower won't be done and other bits and pieces so yeah, we've we'll got, have a, got a lot of well. things planned for the next phase yeah, so, yeah. phase two and then phase three we are not doing a new van no <laughs> way don't even joke about <laughs> things like that no true. don't even joke okay <sighs> yeah okay see you in the next one doing this just for for the uh, video. Oh, hold well, that clamp as well. Wow. Oh, well. It's it's, it's half nine. It's half nine today. It's half nine today. It's half nine like most days. <laughs> Twice a day even. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Christ. Morning, everyone. So it's half nine tonight. Tonight. Shit. <laughs> I can't speak, can I? Down on the floor.